How it feels to be assessed. Values of Assessment Study, University of Bristol. Even though I'm academically qualified, I work as a solicitor, I quite happily challenge other people's social care assessments and make progress doing that. When I'm sat in front of an assessor myself, I feel completely disempowered and completely needy and completely unable to communicate what my needs are. What I think is really important is for practitioners to realise that actually this is something they experience on a daily basis as well and how they feel when they're sat in front of a bank manager asking for a mortgage or how they feel when they're sat in front of their GP trying to explain what the problem is but the GP is the expert. So each time when my, my site gets worse they, they, they did a different assessment. That assessment was rigorous. It, I didn't call it assessment, it was like an intrusion because the questions they were asking me was I thought that's not necessary mm -hmm. but you know different can I toil it myself <laughs> those are the questions I was thinking oh no but then as I said you know when I spoke to other people and I realized all the forms were the same people are in wheelchairs visual impaired people people are mentally ill to fill in a form is too long and so we need uh, well, not we. I need a assistant to do it. So, if I was to, if I was to fill out a form on my own or with my PA, it can take us two weeks, three weeks, a month, because you know the amount of time it takes. We need to get on doing other things. A tricky question was, can you cook yourself a meal? I didn't understand what type of meal am I gonna cook myself. The most important thing I've got in my kitchen is my microwave. <laughs> And it surprises a lot of people. 1.006 clock is not set. So it's an audio microwave. If you feel it, say, yes, you can cook yourself a meal, then they're going to say, you don't need help. Over 25% of disabled people say they do not have choice and control over their lives. The impact of assessment on your sense of self. In order to get services that and support that you needed, you sometimes had to say things about yourself that were more negative. Having to say those negative things about themselves actually had an impact on their own sense of self, which lasted beyond the actual assessment meeting. First assessment I had, I really it did really freak me out. She suggested having carers because I really was in a bad way at the time, um, and I broke down then because it was about having somebody coming in my home, in my personal space, who is a stranger. I remember part of the research when they said some people want it but don't need it, and some need it but don't want it. And I think it's from the perspective of the disabled people is that it's not that you don't want it, it's about maybe coming to terms with the changes that's happening in your life. There is no space in the form to say, have you, you know, how, how, is, how is that? According to the Care Act, an assessment is meant to be a form of support in itself, so obviously that's questionable. Some people might view it as an opportunity to think about their lives. Um, my personal experience is that it's, that's, that's unlikely <laughs> for, a lot, for a lot of people because it is such a stressful, intrusive and difficult thing to go through. When the OT come round, it's like, oh, give you this, give you that. And I just say to them, no, stop. I don't want all of that. 
because it's not it's like they're turning your home into like a disability showroom and especially when they sort of mention rails in my bedroom because if you were going to have a relationship with anybody which i don't at the moment but you really don't want rails all over the place it just makes me feel a bit like oh don't do all of it in one go because it's really sort of overwhelming the assessment process needs to be a joint enterprise it needs to be worked on as a partnership let's look at what you're trying to achieve and together let's try and, and sort it out and put together a package that will meet your needs This film, about how it feels to be assessed, was a particular interest of Dr Sue Porter, to whom we dedicate these films. Sue died suddenly on January the 11th, 2017. Her untimely death was a tragic loss to the disability movement and to disability research, and her inspiration and research leadership made this production possible. Thank you to everyone who took part in the peer support groups at Wessel and their supporters, Anna Wheeler and Valentina Cavallini. A special thanks to Nathan Hill for the graphic design. The research team at Nora Fry Centre for Disability Studies, University of Bristol. Our advisory group members from Bristol Disability Equality Forum, Compass Disability, Families Leading Planning, the Foundation for People with Learning Disabilities, the Alzheimer's Society and the School for Policy Studies. A special thank you to the social care practitioners who took part in this study, to all the disabled people who were assessed and to our workshop participants. Finally, we are very grateful to our funders, the School for Social Care Research, for their generous support of this study. However, the views expressed in these videos are those of the research team and the Wessel Group, and not necessarily those of the NIHR, SSCR, NHS, the National Institute for Health Research, or the Department of Health. For further information about the research, please see www.sscr.nihr.ac.uk slash publications.php or www.bristol.ac.uk forward slash sps slash research slash centres slash Nora Fry Research.